for Christmas this year, my wife got me a new toolbox. The old one was getting kind of old and rusty and cruddy looking, and it wouldn't fit all my tools. I had too many socket sets and stuff that just wouldn't fit in it. So I needed a new toolbox. But what's amazing is what you find in the bottom of your old toolbox. This really surprised me. Buried down there, I found dozens of pens and pencils. Now, they call me a bit of a kleptomaniac because I'm always stealing people's pens, but if that's the case, how come I never have any? Because they're in the bottom of my toolbox someplace. And another thing is, whenever I'm working on a project, I can never find a pencil to mark the wood with. And here is all these wonderful pencils buried in the bottom of the toolbox. And there's something that really surprised me among all those pens and pencils are two giant Sharpies, one green and one red. Perfect Christmas colors for doing some sort of Christmas posters or signs or something. I have no idea how many years I've had these because they've been buried in the bottom of the toolbox. My wife suggested that I go through all those pens and find out which ones work and which one don't work and throw out the ones that don't work. The problem with that is, what happens if I need a part from one that doesn't work to fix one that does work? Anyway, also in the bottom of the old toolbox is old lead-based solder. A few years back, they made it so solder doesn't contain lead. And if you've used that kind of solder, it doesn't solder very good at all. In fact, I've had some real disasters trying to solder with that. So you keep some old lead-based solder hidden in the bottom of your toolbox. Oh, make sure you wash your hands after handling it. And also down there, you'll find dozens of these metal S-hooks. Now where these came from is off those old black bungee cords that you know you could stretch them and strap down your luggage or whatever. And when they got old, they'd crack and fall apart. Before you throw them out, you always save the S-hooks. So here are all these S-hooks buried in the bottom of my toolbox. Another item, wire nuts. Whenever you're doing a wiring job, you can never find wire nuts. So you have to go and buy more. Why? Because they're buried in the bottom of your toolbox, just like everything else. Buried away down there. And some people's lives are just like the bottom of an old toolbox. They got a lot of stuff they've buried down there in the bottom of the toolbox, out of sight, hoping never to be found. But there is a solution. There is a better way to deal with those things in your past. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things are passed away. He is new. You see, it's possible by giving your life to Christ to clean up all that junk that's been in your life, that's been making a mess of your life for year after year after year, and you just keep hiding it away someplace, hoping it never comes back. It's possible to get rid of all that. All you need to do is repent of your sins. Admit you're a sinner and repent. Say, I don't want to be that anymore and turn your life over to Christ in a simple prayer like this. Lord Jesus, I admit I'm a sinner. I admit I've done many terrible things in my life. Lord Jesus, please forgive me of my sins. Heal my life. Give me new direction. Help me to live for you instead of living for myself. In Jesus' name, amen. It's that simple. You can be a new creation. You can clean out your old toolbox of your life and start again from scratch.